Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop today and we're bringing you something super cool from LA Police Gear. I love LA Police Gear. I've been shopping with them for a long time and they offer some of their, their own made products that are super affordable and really, really well made. Uh, they also sell a bunch of other stuff from a bunch of other companies, lights, knives, apparel, backpacks, whatever it may be. Um, pretty much everything, you know, gun and gear wise, except for guns and ammo. Uh, and they really have uh, pretty decent prices on everything, especially their own made stuff. Now, today we're specifically talking about, per the title, the LAPG Frunk Pack. F-R-U-N-K. I don't know exactly what that stands for, like the fanny pack for your junk or whatever. Um, or the, I, who knows? Who knows? But it's the frunk pack. Um, getting frunky here on the Terribly Tactical channel. And uh, this thing's $14.99. A lot of other companies offer similar, you know, packs like this. And they're $40, $50, $100. Um, I think this thing is a steal for the features, and I actually got this thing for free, not from LA Police Gear, but because of shopping with them so much, they actually have like a point system, a reward system, and uh, I was able to get this for free with the points that I racked up. So uh, sign up for you know their mailing list or whatever. They're always sending out discount codes, coupon codes, and then you can you can register for the point system. And if you spend enough money with them, it comes in pretty handy. So this is it. It's a fanny pack style pack. Okay, you got a waist strap. Uh, you can also, you know, per the, the modern style, uh, you know, fanny packs aren't cool and stuff anymore. So, you know, dudes are wearing them like a sling over one shoulder, stuff like that. Uh, it's completely adjustable, so you can definitely do it. It'll fit a wide variety of body types, okay? And, uh, you know, quick detach little buckle here so you can take it on and off at your leisure and uh, that could really come in handy and this pack itself has some really good features and actually will hold a good amount of stuff for being how small it is um so let's go over it first off on the outside we've got some like nylon rip stop style um fabric had a brain fart there guys sorry um and then we've got these little tiny, it's like, it's almost like a molly strip, a laser cut rubberized molly strip on each side here that you could, I'm sure you could attach something to. Uh, you got your hook and loop Velcro pattern here. So you put your morale patch or whatever you want. Um, and then we got the, the outer zipper. So nice, nice zipper, very smooth. And inside just a, a, a plain empty pocket. This would be great for cash, IDs, you know, stuff like that. Pen, pencil, whatever you need, something flat. Just lay it in there, easy access, something you're going to be grabbing, you know, on a regular basis, whether you're using this as EDC for like, you know, gun and gear type stuff, or you're just, you know, on vacation looking like, you know, the tourist that you are. Um, next up, let's flip it around. We've got some little loops here. We've got a little molly strap basically here. Again, you can attach more things to it. It is mirrored on the other side. So, you know, that's nice. It, it gives you modularity, which is nice. On the back... Again, another flat, just loose item type of pocket. Again, you can throw, you know, the cash or the wallet or whatever you need in here. Uh, maybe the cell phone. It's a, it's a larger pocket, so you can definitely put some stuff in here. And I'm going to show you guys, um, you know, in another video how I have this thing set up and loaded out. This is just an, an initial impressions and uh, kind of showing you the feature set of the pack itself because I'm actually digging this thing a lot. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, whatever you want to throw back there, chapstick, lipstick if you're a chick. Um... And, and there's that back here. We actually have some pass through um, So this does go completely through in this little back pocket you could stuff some gloves in there uh, You can use that to you know further attach it to yourself or another kind of pack whatever you want to do and And really secure it up. So that's super cool. I like that a lot um, No drainage hole or nothing on the bottom, but you know don't get wet and uh, Let's go into the main compartment, but real quick. Let's talk about it. Um they offer this in a couple different colors, black, gray, as you see before you. I really like the gray colors like this because it, it does a good job of blending in both in a city environment and out in the woods. It's very subdued. It's a very, you know, plain color. It doesn't stick out. Uh, they also do like a navy blue and then an OD green. No flat dark earth as of yet or any kind of camo patterns as of yet. Um, sorry for bumping the tripod, people. Um, but who knows? It might be coming in the future. 
The weight, 0.5 pounds, so extremely lightweight due to the nylon, you know, fabric that they're using, this rip stop style of, of fabric and uh, so that's nice so you know you load this thing out you're not having extra added weight due to the pack itself dimensions six and a half inches tall eleven and a half inches long and then it expands out about three and a half inches deep uh, i'm sure you can you know expand it out more you stuff more stuff in it it's got a lot of good organization on the inside which we're about to get to and um, it actually comes with an, an internal holster because um, it is set up to be able to you know carry off body you know EDC concealed carry type of stuff um, and, and that's pretty cool so we're gonna bust open the bag and uh, give you a look at it so here is the main compartment where all of the goodies the main goodies will be and uh, this is the holster that it comes with. So we've seen this before from like special operations equipment. Um, and, and it's basically like the same design. So how this works is, you know, it's Velcro back so you could stick it on. Um, and then grab one of these guys. Stick it on. Put the gun in there. Covers up the trigger guard. Wrap it around. And then you can Velcro it inside of the pack. So that's pretty cool. Um, in order to do that though, you do have to remove the inner organizational section, which let's see if I can give you a good a good look at this. So in here, we've got multiple pockets. Okay, multiple pockets. There's one large pocket back here uh, to you know throw whatever you want. Two smaller pockets up here, and then these are all elastic, so you can put a flashlight, a multi-tool, a blade, you know, tourniquet, whatever you need. Um, on the inside, on the opposite side, we do have a zipper shut. Uh, mesh pocket which is cool for any loose goodies you want to throw in there again the world is your oyster you could set this up and configure it however you like and uh, I do like that it gives you the option now how are we going to velcro this holster into the pack well little tab right here okay and the uh, the organization panel Again, we'll give you another look at that. This Velcro's in, so the, however you want to set it up, um, you can choose to do that. If you want to have it more of like a, a, a touristy thing, you're on vacation, or just a little fanny pack uh, to carry extra gear, you're hiking, you're fishing, whatever, you could set it up. And again, you've got the organization, the little individual pockets, separate your gear and have it with you, so that's super cool. But if you were going to use this as an off-body carry, Velcro-backed holster. Um, obviously, this is universal. will fit a wide variety of guns, and you don't even have to use this with this pack. It'll obviously Velcro onto any other style of, of you know hook and loop, and you can run it in that. So that's super cool. Put that in there, Velcro it in there, and it's secure. So now, you know you're carrying, uh, you know your EDC, your concealed carry gun, uh, whatever it is, you know off body, maybe because of what you're doing, maybe because of you know the way you have to dress. Whatever the reason is, you can still have a pack with a gun, some spare ammo, some goodies, you know, some tools, some medical, whatever it is. And then if you need it, again, it's not the quickest draw, but you can get it. And I just loosely adjusted it or whatever, um, put it in there. Obviously, I would fix it, make sure the draw was smoother, the angle, you know, the retention on this. But it will hold the gun securely. It will cover the trigger guard, keep it safe, and it's a good way to carry carry the gun, um, you know, off body. It's small, it's lightweight, it's streamlined, and it looks like a regular fanny pack. There's not really anything that screams gun or screams tactical. Uh, my buddy always says, you know, be aware of the man with a purse because he's probably got a gun in it. Yeah, fanny packs aren't the coolest thing, but now everybody's carrying like the Supreme ones and stuff like that across their chest, sling style. And um, this will blend right in. It's cool. It, I, I like the design of it, the functionality of it, and uh, the versatility of it. Because whether I'm using this to carry a firearm in or I'm using it just to carry gear, I can take the insert and put it somewhere else. I could organize another pack with this and have extra gear with me organized, or I can take this out as a whole and use this as you know an off-body holster for another gun in another pack. And again, all of this quality made stuff, very well thought out organizationally speaking, super functional for 15 bucks. Can't go wrong, people. You really cannot. And uh, I'm digging this thing a lot. 
Again, this is just an initial impressions. This is just going over the features of the pack itself. I'm going to load this out. I will be using this and um, I'm going to load it out, you know, with all, all the goodies that I want to put in there, decide how I want to set it up. And then I will do an update video with it actually packed and show you, you know, the, the capabilities of it and what I got in there. Kind of like a little EDC pocket dump video kind of deal with this pack. And then over time, you know, if I have any problems with it, it rips, it has an issue, I come across any problems, I'll definitely do updates on that as well. But that is the video. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, because that stuff helps me out an absolute ton, especially with shadow banning and demonetization from YouTube. They don't agree with me politically. They don't like American freedom. So be that as it may, I'm not going anywhere. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, please check out the links in the description box below if you want to help support the channel. But even more important, uh, check out those first three links. Those first three links, people, are to help you fight for your God-given gun rights, no matter what gun that is. These rights are always under attack and ever important, and uh, we need to do our part. We need to fight for those rights so our children and our children's children still have those rights because without those rights, this ain't America. And uh, that being said, guys, hit the notification bell if you haven't so you don't miss a video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.